Hey, 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 welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Today, I have an exciting new product to share with you and a great dinner idea. Let's go ahead and get started. A couple of weeks ago, the Meat Stick Company reached out to me to give their product a try. I had just purchased a meat thermometer at Walmart, if you remember, right around the same time. I was like, of course, if I would have just waited, then I would have had the meat stick. So this, th this meat thermometer is different. It works with the Bluetooth in your cell phone. So when I found that out, I was like, let's give this a try and see how it really works. All right, now that I have you closer, I want to go ahead and um, open up our Mini X meat stick. There is some preliminary work that you need to do in order to um, use the meat stick. You need to download the meat stick app on your cell phone. Cell phone. It is available by Android or on iPhone. And when it comes out of the package, it looks like that. And it has a couple of different um, papers. We'll figure out what those are. All right, so one of the packages inside the, um, the box is setup. Uh, you can do your setup um, like this and it step, walks you through step by step. If you already have the app downloaded, it takes you through the entire setup process as well. So whatever works better for you. When you pull this out, we need to take the sticker off. If it's tiny, but it feels pretty sturdy actually. This charging station takes two AA batteries. The brochure, as well as the app, suggests that you let this charge for two hours prior to using it for the first time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to let our meat stick charge up and then we will be back. You will know that your meat stick is charging because of the green light flashing. Our meat stick has fully charged, so now it's time to start cooking. As a reminder, now that this is charged, you are going to download the meat stick app and you're gonna go through setup. Part of that setup is connecting with your Bluetooth so that the alarm is on your cell phone. So today we are going to be cooking a beef chuck roast. And I'm gonna get this out of the package and I'm gonna get it very dry and then we're gonna get it seasoned up. I have let my roast sit out for about 15, 20 minutes just to take the chill off. I did take it out of the packaging and I dried it very well. So now we are going to get this roast um, seasoned up. I'm going to use onion powder, garlic powder, Lowry's, and just regular black pepper. I'm going to season all the sides of the roast. Next step, we're going to let this hang out while we do some other chopping. While we've been off camera, I have been doing some chopping. I have also preheated my oven to 325 degrees. Wanted to talk a little bit about the chop. Um, I've got four stalks of celery and I washed and peeled the um, strings and I gave them a really rough chop. I did not cut these up fine because of the fact that um, they're gonna cook and they're gonna windle down. Same with the carrots, I washed those, peeled those, and then I have a yellow onion that I left in big pieces um, so that it can cook down. And that's all the veggies that I'm gonna chop. All right guys, we've moved over to our cooktop. I have my Dutch oven, um, the oil heating up. I just have vegetable oil in there. 
You want to use some kind of vegetable that um, can cook at a high temperature. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our thermometer and we are going to insert it into the biggest part of our meat without touching a bone. Also, you wanna make sure that all of this piece is pushed in. You don't want any of the silver showing out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in. This, this will withstand air frying, deep frying, grilling, um, pan frying, you name it, um, you can use this meat stick. So don't be intimidated about putting it like in hot oil, those kinds of things. On the app, it will go over the various ways that you can cook it as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brown off our meat. All right, now that we have our meat browned, we're going to move it to a plate and set it to the side. All these brown bits in the bottom, we want to try to get up with all of our veggies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our veggies in. I gave those a really good stir, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, put the lid on and let them cook for a couple of minutes. Now that our veggies have cooked for a couple of moments, probably about two to three minutes, I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I'm gonna get that stirred in as well and just let it cook for a minute. Next, we're gonna add in beef broth. I'm going to add, I have four cups here. As a reminder, our roast still has our meat stick in it. And we're gonna get our roast all nestled down on our veggies. What we're gonna do next is we are gonna put the lid on and we are gonna move this to our oven. I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but I'm gonna do um, a screenshot as well. I'm ready to start my cook time. So it says chuck roast medium. I'm going to move mine to medium well. And then next, it tells me to insert my um, meat stick. I had already done that prior to frying it. And there's a button down here that says start cooking. It reminds you that each time you're supposed to clean your stick, you can hit don't remind me and that, that won't pop up again. I'm just gonna hit okay. And if you see there, our time has started. I'm gonna get this in the oven. I have my sound on for the alarm and we're ready to put our, our roast in our oven. It, we're about halfway through cook time. I came and I flipped this over. At the same time, I got notification that my roast is the internal temperature is where we want it. I'm gonna put, I turned it over, I'm gonna put my lid back on and I'm gonna turn my heat down to 200 degrees and I'm going to let it cook um, for the rest of the cook time so that it can get nice and tender. Right now, it's really tough, so it needs to cook longer for sure. Hey guys, so, wanted to hop on here really quick and go over some lessons learned while our roast finishes cooking. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Meat Stick Mini. Whenever you go on, I'm sorry y'all, that's my dog. You know how it goes. He has to be in every video. Um, whenever you go on the website, which I have listed here, you're going to see several different um, types of meat sticks. This is the newest um, version. And in addition, the other meat sticks, you had to buy a separate extender 
Um, the extender is built in the newest version, the Meat Stick Mini. So that saves you money there. The other thing that I wanted to talk about that is very important um, is that this charging station has to stay around six feet of where your meat stick is. The other thing, and the most important thing that I wanted to come on here and talk to you about is think through what you're trying to do. I, whenever I got the meat stick, I wanted to do a roast. My roast, my meat stick came on and told me my internal temperature was done and I still needed to cook it longer because of the cut of meat that I used, the chuck roast. Those need to cook for a long period of time to be slow, uh, to be tender. So me putting it back in the oven wasn't that the, the meat stick did anything wrong. It told me when that internal temperature was met, I just needed to finish cooking mine to make it tender. The other thing, and I did not even think about this, is I was, I could not figure out why my meat stick was losing signal. Duh, I have it in a cast iron skillet. Bluetooth signal cannot go through cast iron. So every time I would open it up and check on it, it would connect right to the app, it would tell me the internal temperature, but that was my error. The meat stick was doing exactly what it needed to do. I was the ding dong that put it in the wrong kind of pan to expect a signal was going to connect. I have since made a couple of different um, items with my meat stick, it has worked fine. Um, I, uh, I put the lid down on my grill. I had no problem with it connecting. So everything has been great. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about the mistakes that I made so that if you buy the meat stick and you're like, I can't get this to work, just give some thought to what you're doing and I'm sure that it will work out just as great as I did because this thing has worked the four or five times I've used it. The first time, which is what I found, I struggled. But I'm really, really glad I struggled because I wanted to come on here and tell you about it so that you don't make the same mistakes I make. Let's go ahead and get back into the video so you can see how wonderful this meal is gonna turn out. While my roast, carrots, celery, and onions is finishing up, I went ahead and peeled my potatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and get these mashed up whenever it's time. But we're having mashed potatoes, roast, carrots, celery, and dinner rolls tonight for dinner. All right guys, our roast is out of the oven and I have it resting in the Dutch oven. I have cranked up the heat to 350 degrees and I'm gonna get these rolls in the oven and it's almost time to eat. All right guys, what I have done is I have removed most of the meat and the carrots, celery, and onions. Now I'm going to add a slurry to thicken up our gravy. And many of you already know, but a slurry is just cornstarch and water. And you wanna mix it really, really well before it hits the hot liquid. And then we just need to keep an eye on it and keep stirring until our gravy gets the desired thickness. And here is dinner at our house. Mashed potatoes, roast carrots, and dinner rolls. Wanted to give a special thanks to The Meat Stick for sending me their product to review. The company has been absolutely amazing to work with and I have thoroughly enjoyed working with their product. I will keep using it and you will see it definitely in future videos. Also, I'd like to thank all of you for following along in today's video. Don't forget to check out um, the website for The Meat Stick I have listed here. And as well, don't forget Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.